Hello and welcome back and we're continuing our look at QNAP's mobile applications in 2019. We have covered this in previous videos but I thought it was worth revisiting in 2019 because they've added a few features and functions since that a number of you didn't know about. Now of course we'll be looking at different mobile applications from different NAS brands but for today we're going to be looking at Q Music from QNAP. We're going to be utilizing that to look at the device, how it's changed over time, and whether it still cuts the mustard, because last year I did maintain I thought it was the best music NAS application for iOS and Android for NAS users. So let's make our way into it. Um, it's also worth highlighting, as I have done in my previous videos, that to make sure there's no notifications and things that might slow this video down, I have disabled internet activity. As you can see from the top right, the internet activity there has no internet. So I'm on the network accessing the NAS, but no internet connectivity. So that may cause slight friction later on down the line, but if it does, I'll highlight it to you. But the Q Music application, that's what you get on screen. And remember, all of these mobile apps are freely available from iOS and Android and very easy to install. And again, once you've got the app installed, it won't show your NAS straight away. Click at the bottom, add NAS. It will then scan your local area network and it will find the NAS there. You can then click on it, enter your login credentials, and then once it's saved, it will always be there, readily available on that list. The settings menu on the bottom right is fairly normal, but because this is a music application, there are lots of different application, uh, lots of different features and functionality of the app that are music based. Everything from sleep mode to music shaker, which is effectively an intelligent shuffle mode, and whether you want to be able to upload, download, or stream music on Wi Fi only, as well as always downloading all files as you are played. So that means you've got them in the long term. You can even set up a rotational deletion scheme on this and of course at the bottom there if you sign in with your free QNAP ID so when you set the device up and created your account so you can access your NAS anywhere in the world not just the network it will allow you to stream and enjoy your music uh, with as little data consumption as possible thanks to transcoding and effectively give you full-time access to all your thousands and thousands of songs across your hundreds and hundreds of albums and as well as of course limitations in terms of file and folder paths, and of course, folder size to make sure you don't download too much in that folder at any given time, so you can micromanage to your heart's content. But let's log into our NAS. Now, one of the main reasons that I really liked the music application from QNAP, as I talked about in previous videos, is one of the things that QNAP does that very few other NAS brands do is give you the best of both worlds. It gives you the ability to have smart albums and smart playlists that scan all of your files and folders as and when you need them. It then, if you set it up to scan the right albums, you'll never have to really interact or mess around with the device too much because your music will be readily available. It will list music directly by the applications that you wish to use on it. And with regards to the music, it will then see the music that you've played over a given time, ones that you've hearted, ones that you've made favourites individually, or ones that it has learned that you've enjoyed listening to the most, the ones that you've listened to the most, and it will play those for you. But on the flip side, it gives you folder access, something that a lot of them don't. They force you to go the smart route, the semi-intelligent route. And for a number of you that don't set things up, or if you're in the pinch, where you want to enjoy a specific song or a specific file or folder, this can be very, very disappointing to not have folder access. So folder access for me is a deal breaker and also something where I want to enjoy smart and customizable utility. And that was the main reason I loved this app. And things have only continued from strength to strength. I'll stop pressing back by accident there. Now, the other things you can do with the application, of course, is the ability to stream your music where you want it most. If we go to the home menu from here, if we find audio devices such as Bluetooth speakers, NASes with speakers such as a number of the newer releases, Bluetooth and more if you're utilizing a Bluetooth dongle, you will be able to stream the music directly from the NAS to that device without having to use your phone. Your phone can, only, can just be used to play fast forward rewind and set up a connection between those devices. On top of that, from the home menu here, we can go into individual genres and songs. So from here, we've got all of my audio recordings from other videos, as well as music and audiobooks. I've created them up individual files and folders, and it will scan the music and find metadata about the files and folders that we've put inside, as well as scrape a lot of the data with regards to album covers. 
moving forward from that we can then look at the now playing menu of course because we're not playing a file or folder it's not going to list anything at this time so why don't we play a song and i'll have to keep it limited because of course this is youtube and we're going to go just straight ahead along with um whatever this is and again i'll move the phone closer to the mic And again, that was over the network, nice and straightforward and easy. Now, from there, we can look at playlists that we've created, and we can create individual playlists very, very easily, and you can create them nice and quick. We'll call that one test. And we'll share it with everyone else on the NAS, and we'll create our brand new playlist. This playlist, we can add songs to very, very easily. And from here, add songs as we see fit really, really easily. And again make things just readily accessible so if we go into the songs folder here as we move forward say we want the sherlock holmes uh, one there so let's go to albums let's find our sherlock holmes adventures and we can add that to a playlist add it to a brand new playlist or give it its own so if we add it to an existing playlist there's our test playlist and boom we've created that playlist nice and straightforward in there there's sherlock holmes so from here we can look at the usual stuff you would expect from any media player, just detailing more and more about the files, how and when we've added them. And of course, we can download music directly onto our phone if we so choose. So if we go into the albums and say we want to download one of these. How about the greatest video game music? Legend of Zelda and Grand Theft Auto 4. Not my opinion, but there you go. We can just click download and boom. Now it downloads this file into the background. If we go to our download folder, located here, we can see that it's now downloading these files and two files are being downloaded there in the background. And again, the download folder also has its own level of customization too. So from here, we can then go into this folder and it will be readily available. And of course, it will also be available on your music player of choice on your mobile phone. So that's really is an incredibly straightforward application for playing music. Very, very responsive and one that allows you to access via the network or the internet and enjoy your music where you want it most. And the very fact that you can access a number of these features and functionality quickly and easily. And remember, this app has been running in real time, so it is not a slow application that's interacting with your own private NAS server means that just because you're not streaming from the internet, doesn't mean that you can't, you can't enjoy all of your media as fast as you want it anywhere in the world or over your local area network. And with support with things like My, uh, My Media for Alexa and other applications coming soon, I do recommend this as a multimedia application and we will be comparing it against the likes of Acer Store and Synology once again to make sure that all of these NAS brands are giving, giving you what you want in 2019. Next up we can be looking at photos and music and I'll see you on the next video so don't forget to click like and subscribe. I hope I was helpful and I'll see you next time.